Students across New Mexico are heading back to school, and the state is doing what it can to try and track asymptomatic cases among those children, offering COVID tests to those students. News 13's Annalisa Pardo explains how the surveillance testing of students works. As school starts back up, so does surveillance testing of students. It's another measure that we have in place, you know, another tool in our toolbox. The public education department is requiring districts and charter schools offer voluntary COVID testing to students as a way to detect potentially undiagnosed or asymptomatic COVID cases at school. It gives us some insight into that school community and potential transmissions that have been prevented thanks to surveillance testing. PED required this last year too. But this year, it's giving districts the goal of testing 25% of its unvaccinated students a week. Parents can get their students a PCR test at a state testing site or an at-home vault test or a rapid test through a school-based program. Then they'll submit the results to their child's school. Parents we talk to say it's something they'd consider. That would be something that I would be interested in doing. If we don't gather a database, then we can't get information to figure out how to fight this. And then it also benefits the kids too, because what if one does have COVID? Then they can like public quarantine or something. The state strongly encourages students traveling for sports or doing extracurriculars to take part, saying they may have increased risk of exposure. To reach that 25% goal, the state says education and communication are key. Have that conversation with those individuals who are implementing the program at the local level, and maybe some of those barriers, or, or you know, perceived barriers, or some of those concerns can be addressed and then worked through. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE News 13. While testing is optional to students, districts must test 25% of their staff each week who have not provided proof of vaccination. If a student or teacher tests positive, they have to self-isolate for 10 days.